This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight's game, the opening of the Hampshire League North regular season as the Frontier Red Hawks play host to the Mohawk Warriors. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins along with Alec Eckel, Megan Self, and the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports, Kevin Murphy. Tonight, a rivalry game at Goodnote Gymnasium against two programs that have been going in different directions in recent years, the Frontier Red Hawks have been perennial sort of playoff bound teams, whereas the Mohawk Warriors have not been within a sniff of the playoffs in quite some time. And you kind of throw the records out when you put these two teams on the same floor together because it is a rivalry game, but Frontier coming off of a loss the other night to Palmer. Mohawk Warriors have won a game this season. They're one and two in the regular season. This is the first league game for both of these teams. And Mohawk, though they've had problems in the last few years, has shown signs of improvement. We'll see what kind of improvement they display tonight when they come into South Deerfield to take on Peter Carey and the Frontier Red Hawks. Now let's go to the floor for the starting lineups for this one. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Frontier Regional School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Warriors from Mohawk Re Regional High School. The member of high schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now, for tonight's starting lineups, for Mohawk at guard, number three, Anthony Moffat. At guard, number 13, Tyler DeBrio. At center, number 14, Cam Lacoco. At forward, number 10, Austin Sumner. At forward, number 33, Ruben Bassett. Mohawk is coached by Darren Schmidt. Now for Frontier, at guard, number 10, Ian Spirits. At guard, number 11, Brett Robinson. At center, number 21, Owen Wachowicz. At forward, number 4, Donovan Hoffman. John O'Neill and Les Bowler. Please rise for a national anthem. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer driven networking for your business, software driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, 
and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. We are set to go here from Goodno Gymnasium. Once again, Ethan Mashon is out of the lineup. He injured his back in our first broadcast this season. Don't know when he's going to come back. And Colin Boudreaux, whose name is on the printed roster, has yet to appear in a game that we've seen for the Frontier Red Hawks. So it'll be Moffitt, Debriel, Lococo, Bassett, and Sumner. The five on the floor for the Mohawk Warriors. And it'll be Spirits running the point. With Robinson, Carey, Walkowitz, and Hoffman for the Red Hawks. Ball's in the air, and tip is controlled by the Mohawk Warriors. And we are underway. Debriel now with it. Left side to Lococo. We're working it around the perimeter here. Back over to Debriel. Right side it goes, and they get it inside. Trying to work on Carey as Bassett. He gets blocked on the way up, and Frontier comes away with it. Spearins now pulls it back, hands to Walkowitz. Walkowitz on the baseline, nobody near him, and that one did not go. Carey battling for the rebound, controlled by Mohawk. Calling out the play. Debriel going left side on Robinson. Pull up jumper in the lane does not go. And Hoffman the rebound. Long outlet pass to Walkowitz. Lays it up and in. Nice pass. And the Red Hawks are on the board. 2 0. Now Spirits a little backcourt pressure. Debriel goes up ahead. Right side to Moffitt. And we are going the other way. Out of bounds. Hoffman throws it in to Spirits. Spirits calls the play. Left side to Donovan. Cross court to Robinson. Robinson spots up for three. No go. Hoffman gets the rebound. Count it one for Donovan Hoffman. As he will go to the line. Chance for a three-point play. Only going here. And he will make the three-point play. Five-nothing. First foul is on Ruben Bassett. Teams first. Again, more backcourt pressures. The pass stolen by Peter Carey. Experience now over Hoffman. Hoffman cross-court to Robinson. Brett in a high post to Carey. Loses it. Carey gets it back over to Hoffman. Hoffman spots up for three. Yep. So Dehoff, who had his problems with three-point land the other night against Palmer, starting off strong for Frontier. 8-0 run to start this game for the Red Hawks. Milwaukee's able to get it across the timeline. On the baseline, rainbow jumper does not go. Carey battling for the rebound. Ball squirts out to Moffitt. Moffitt for the three-pointer is good. Milwaukee's on the board. 8-3, 5.39 to go first quarter. Spirits right side to Robinson. High post to carry. PC trying to drive through, gets the, his pocket pick, hits the floor, and it's going to be a foul against Peter Carey, I believe, his first team's first. Milwaukee will inbound underneath their own basket. Moffitt now crosses half court. Moffitt in the corner. To Lococo, back out to Moffitt. Moffitt spins back the other way. Back to Lococo, top of the key to Dubriel. Dubriel, pull up jumper in the lane, does not go. Spare the rebound, gets bumped from behind, and will be a foul on Mohawk. It's going to be on Sumner, his first team second.
Barrett inbounds it. And now brings it up. Left side to Hoffman. Hoffman bounce pass to Walkowitz. Cross court to Robinson. Robinson to carry on the baseline. Back to Robinson. Give and go. Jumper in the lane doesn't go. Lococo the rebound for Mohawk. Gabriel spins it up ahead. Sumner takes the jumper. Doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by Frontier. Hoffman now. Dehoff tries a scoop pass into Walkowitz. Broken up. And dribbling it behind the back and off his own leg was Moffitt. And we're going back the other way. It's a young team, this Milwaukee like Warrior team. Only two seniors. Experience tries to go right side to Hoffman out of bounds. And Mohawk will, actually Frontier will keep it with 23 on the shot clock. Hoffman inbounds to Walkowitz, back to Hoffman. Hoffman trying to feed Carey. Walkowitz gets it in the paint, lays it up and in. Nice passing. Much sharper looking Frontier Red Hawk team than we saw against Palmer in the first quarter the other night. Moffitt up ahead to Lococo. Lococo. Back over to Moffitt. Moffitt tries to feed the paint, can't. And long lead pass to Robinson. Robinson lays it up, gets fouled on the way up. And he will go to the line as he was fouled by the trailer, Debril. Third team foul on Mohawk. First on the Warriors. Or first, rather, on Debril, excuse me. And Robinson will shoot two here. Brett's first one does not go. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Checking into the game is Sean Richter. Also into the game for the first time is Aiden Hernandez. Both had good minutes against Palmer the other night. Robinson's second shot is good. So Brett makes one of two, 11-3. Less than four minutes to go, first quarter. And the trap is on for Frontier. And they could not get it over as Matt Gabbery got hung up and the five second violation occurs. So good defense there by the Hawks. We did not see that kind of aggressive trapping press against Palmer. So good to see them doing some of that work. Hernandez now top of the key to Robinson. Robinson for three, big three ball by Brett Robinson from way outside. And it's an 11-point lead, the largest so far for the Hawks. Again, more backcourt pressure. And they're going to get a reach-in foul. It's going to be on Hoffman. His first team second. It's right now Darren Schmidt trying to get a combination that works for Mohawk. Moffat to throw it in in front of us. And he throws in the debris on the backcourt. Well, once again, a little bit of pressure being applied by Frontier. And they tried to feed the baseline and we're going the other way. So Mohawk not looking real crisp right now in this first quarter. And Darren Schmidt wants to talk about it. 3.16 to go in the first quarter at the end of at the scoreboard. It's Frontier 14, Mohawk 3. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Our next broadcast of Frontier Regional School Basketball will be Monday night in this building. It'll be our first Bear Country simulcast. I will be on the air with Jeff Terrell as we broadcast the Greenfield Green Wave's first encounter with the Frontier Lady Hawks here at Goodnow Gymnasium. Be looking for that game on our stations as well as on YouTube at the FCAT Media page where you can find all of these games on demand whenever you want to watch them. Robinson inbounds to Carey. Gives it to Hernandez. Hernandez with it, cross court to Hoffman. Hoffman feeds Carey on the baseline. They try to feed the paint, but stolen away by Mo Mohawk. Excuse me. Debril now trying to drive through, running one-hander in the lane. Count it one. Good play by Tyler Debril as he went strong to the basket, and he'll try for the three-point play. Foul is gonna be on 
Rhett Robinson, his first team's third. And he misses it. Rebound, though, controlled by Mohawk. Debriel in the corner. Driving through his basket. He got partially blocked on the way up by Carey. And here come the Hawks. Hernandez to Robinson. Robinson for three. Good! Brett Robinson has seven points. Two three balls. 17-5 Frontier. Warriors now with it. They lose control of it, and it goes the other way. They'll get an argument from the Mohawk bench, but it was just a question of losing control of the ball. Hernandez to Hoffman. Diop goes up ahead to Robinson. In the middle to Hernandez. Jumper is no good. Excuse me, Schmidt. Richter, excuse me, with the shot. Now the three-pointer again for Robinson, who's just going nuts from the outside. The bucket will count. So Brett Robinson has got 10 points already in this game. And the lead is 15, 20 to five, Frontier. 2.16 to go first quarter. Largest lead so far. Peter Carrier will check out, and Walkowitz will check back in for Frontier. Debril gets the inbound pass, up ahead to Moffitt. Moffitt goes behind the back. Moffitt and left elbow. Lacoco now with it. Back to Debril, back to Moffitt. A lot of movement on the offense, but not a lot of points on the board for Mohawk. Moffitt for three. Good! Anthony Moffitt's got two threes. Six of his team's eight points. Dehoff now with it. Off in cross court to Robbins, a little too high for him. Hernandez for three. Good! It's raining threes here tonight. 23 points put on the board by the Frontier Redhawks. They didn't shoot a lot of threes the other night with success against Palmer, but they're doing it tonight. Oh, and they got Hernandez, look like a clean steal. But they're gonna get him for the foul. Too bad for Aiden, that looked like a good, a good play. That's two fouls on him, he'll have to come off. And Hoffman is gonna come off. And Robinson's gonna come off. So they're gonna keep Hernandez out there with the two fouls. And they bring in Brecken Sperance, and they bring in for the first time, Gig Wachinski. Moffat now with it, runs right side, feeds the paint. Bassett's shot is no good. Put back is no good, and a foul. And that's going to be going to the line is going to be Austin Sumner. It was actually Matt Pollan who took the shot into the game. Foul is going to be on Owen Walkowitz, his first, team's fifth. First shot is good by Sumner. He'll get one more. Second one is good. 1 3 10. Frontier by 13. 115 to go in the quarter. Hernandez up ahead to Spirits. Spirits to Walkowitz. Left side. Gabe Kaczynski is a three point threat. He's out there. Pass to Spirance is tipped away. And Gabriel ends up with it from the lock. One minute to play in the quarter. Moffitt for three, yep. Anthony Moffitt's got three threes, nine points. Time out on the floor, we'll take the break and the lead is cut to 10. Frontier 23, Mohawk 13. This is Red Hawk basketball. The Frontier Red Hawks have put up 23 points already in this first quarter with a minute to go. And they have shot five threes in this quarter. Chinsky inbounds to Sperance. Sperance up ahead to Hernandez. Crosses half court. Hernandez up ahead to Walkowitz. Walkowitz lost control on the baseline and was fouled. Let's see what they get here. It'll be the fourth team foul and the first on Matt Pollan. 
And it's going to be two shots as they're going to say Walkowitz was, was fouled in the act of shooting. First shot does not go. We'll get one more. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Webb's America's Yarn Store and by attorney Dan Graves of Deerfield. Walkowitz is second. He makes it. 24-13, 44.5 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Your Beals pass is tipped out. And then he's got way up there to block that one. Moffitt throws it in to Gerbeel in the backcourt. Tyler now. This is to Moffitt. Moffitt goes for it again for three. That's one an air ball. Ball knocked loose. Lococo gets the rebound. Back out to Moffitt. Nearly stolen by Spirits. Moffitt will tie for three again. He'll miss. Rebound pulled down. Put back up and in. Nice power move on the baseline by Sumner. 24-15. Richter's three ball hits the side of the iron, no good. Sumner the rebound for Mohawk. And they'll try and get one more shot off. Looping through off the glass, no good. And that's how the quarter will end. We played one quarter of Good No Gymnasium. At the end of one, it's Frontier 24, Mohawk 15. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by. Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Chris Collins, Megan Self, Alec Eckel, and Kevin Murphy out here at Good No Gymnasium. Frontier Red Hawks going into the second quarter with a nine point lead over the Mohawk Warriors. Donovan Hoffman inbound in front of us to start off the second quarter. Experience now, left side to Donovan. Peter carries back into the game. Hoff now goes cross court to Robinson. Starting five, original starting five in there for Frontier. Hoffman drives through, dishes to Carey. Carey, and I think they're going to say the foul occurred before the shot. So Carey's going to shoot two here. Oh, they gave him the bucket. Okay, I didn't think that, I thought the, they called the foul before the bucket, but they did not. So Moffitt. Call for the foul. And the three-point play is converted by Carey. 27-15. Debriel inbounds it. Moffitt now with it. Moffitt going up ahead. Left side. Three ball from the corner is an air ball out of bounds, and we're going back the other way. The shooting has been spotty for Mohawk in this first half, except for Moffitt. Who's got three threes in five attempts? Spirits up ahead to Hoffman. Hoffman lobs it to Robinson, nearly stolen away, knocked out of bounds. Still frontier basketball. As skying to get that ball was Paul. And a lot of hustle being exhibited by Mohawk, just hasn't translated into a lot of points. Hoffman to throw it in. Lobs it back out to Spirits. Spirits. To Robinson. Robinson for three. Front of the iron, no good. Tipped out. Spearance has it to carry. Carry to Walkowitz in the paint. Walkowitz tries a hook shot, kind of a crazy angle. Got fouled though on the way up. So Owen will go to the line to shoot a couple. When Walkowitz is playing center again for Frontier. 
Peter Carey at the power forward position. Owens' first one is no good. He'll get one more. Second shot is good. Makes one of two. 28-15, the lead's back up to 13 for Frontier. Jabril now with it. Jabril right side to Lococo. Cam, it's gonna be a kick and it should be a reset. It, it will be. Fresh 30 for Mohawk as it went off the foot of Walkowitz. Moffitt to throw in for the Warriors. In the Debril. Debril now with it. Debril trying to work on Robinson. Then has his pocket picked by Donovan Hoffman. Nice play. Hoffman tried to pass it, got blocked down. Gives it to Carey on the left elbow. Carey goes cross court to Robinson for three. Yep. It's Brett Robinson's night. As they have left him alone way too much. Time out on the floor will take the break. The lead is now 16. Largest lead of the game for Frontier. Red Hawks 31, Warriors 15. Red Hawks basketball, Frontier Community Access Television. Well, the Mohawk Warriors, I'm sure, are talking about defensive strategy because they have left Brett Robinson open way too much tonight. And he has four threes and he's got 13 points, leading his team, leading all scorers actually in this game. And he's got the hot hand, and they're going to have to put probably two people on him to shut him down the way he's shooting the basketball. Debril with it. Right side to Moffitt. Moffitt loses control, gets it back. Again, great defense as the Hawks are swarming, especially in the backcourt. Three-pointer off the glass, no good, way too strong. Rebound controlled by Hoffman. D Hoff on a fast break to Robinson to Carey. Carey. To Hoffman on the right elbow, Walkowitz rather. Top of the key to Robinson for three. That doesn't go. Spearance comes over and gets the rebound. Little Sky on the court. Turnaround jumper is good. And that's for three. Ian Spearance, the sophomore, doing some damage out there. 34 15, 5 51 to go in the half. And Lacoco got hemmed up. They're gonna call. They're gonna call a foul, though. I think they're gonna discuss it. The referees are. It looked like Lacoco was hung up, and he was gonna travel. But they're gonna call, I believe, a foul on Hoffman. It should be two fouls on Hoffman, I think. But they're, they listed only one. Sixteen fouls on Frontier. One more, and we're shooting. The Coco inbound to Gerbio. Debriel with it. Debriel in the middle. The Coco gets it back. Cam to Tyler. Debriel back to La Coco. Bounce pass, travel. As you can tell, they're trying to set Moffat up for that three. That time, though, he took an extra step. Robinson throws it into Spearance. Spearance now with it. Right side it goes to Robinson, back to Spearance. Over to Hoffman. In the corner to Robinson, back to Hoffman. Dehoff, bounce pass in the baseline to Walkowitz. Owen pulls it back, over to Hoffman. Hoffman, jump step, layup no good. Ball tip loose, Spearance back out to Robinson. Robinson for three, back iron no good. And ball knocked loose. And Mohawk takes it away. Debril now with it. Debril top of the key. Right side to Moffitt. Moffitt pulls it back. It's cross court. Spotting it for three. No good. Was Gabbery. And the rebound controlled by Frontier. Hoffman has it now on the right side. Trying for the alley-oop, and they did the alley-oop. Peter Carey got hit on the way up. Could not convert, and it's 
It's going to be a foul, and Peter Carey will go to the line to shoot. Get the feeling those guys have practiced that a few times. It's two fouls, by the way, on Ruben Bassett for Mohawk. First shot doesn't go. He'll get one more. Second one does not go. So he misses them both. Rebound controlled by Mohawk. Warriors now trying to get something going here. They've been stuck on 15 for a while. Left side to Moffitt. Moffitt to Dubriel. Loses control. Out of bounds. Frontier basketball. Mohawk continues to have its challenges. Spearance gets the inbound pass. Frontier has not yet trailed in this game. Robinson with it. Robinson being closely guarded. Hoffman now working a weave. Walkowitz up fakes, drives through. Off the glass, no good. Carry the put back in and good. 36-15, 21-point lead. For Frontier. Now, that time, Gabbery tried to bounce it off of Robinson. Time out on the floor. We'll take the break. 3.36 to go in the half on the scoreboard. It is Frontier in control. 36 to 15 over Mohawk. This is Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. So this should be a one and one as we're in at the seventh team foul. And this is Matt Gabbery from Mohawk to shoot a one and one here. Foul was on Robinson. First shot is good. He'll get one more. Leads cut to 20, 36-16. Second shot. And that goes. So Gabbery gets them both. Back into the game is Hernandez. Aiden now running the point for the Frontier Red Hawks. Top of the key to Richter, and we got a foul underneath. Let's see what they get here. I think it's Hoffman. Yep, it's two on Donovan. But it's not a shooting foul, it's a possession foul, so. Left side it goes. Very nearly traveled there. Getting it back is Debril now. Debril gets a screen. They go right side to Bassett. Bassett turned around the baseline. And he traveled. He's trying to. Bassett's had a tough time trying to drive the baseline against Carey. Carey is so much taller than him. He's already blocked him a couple of times. Bassett tried to use his body that time and just took an extra step. Three minutes even to go in the half. 36-17. Frontier with the lead and the momentum. Hernandez now. Brings it up for the Hawks. Little give and go to Richter. Short-armed it, though. Rebound carry. Turnaround Jay is good. Up ahead it goes, three-point bomb, spins out. Bassett charging for the rebound. Hernandez tried to get to it, and it's going to be Mohawk basketball. He couldn't quite get to it before it went out. Inbound pass it goes to Debril. Debril goes left side. In the middle, turnaround jumper hit the top of the backboard. Wow. That had to have been partially tipped on the way up and Frontier will get it back. 38-17 is the score. 21-point lead for the Hawks. Wholesale subs coming in for Frontier. Gary Brinda checks into the game. 
Hernandez, left side to Gabe Guczynski, back to Hernandez. Right side it goes to Richter. Bounce pass to Gabe. Gabe for three, spins out, no good. And Gabri the rebound. Debril now with it, left side, three-pointer, side of the iron, no good. Rebound controlled by DJ. Up ahead to Hernandez. Hernandez, right side to Kuczynski, back to Hernandez. To Richter, Richter drives on the baseline, he got partially blocked on the way up. Moffat thought he got all ball, but the referee said otherwise. So we're gonna have a one and one here. It's a second foul on Moffat. Eighth team foul, and Sean Richter is going to shoot a one and one. First one's good. He'll get one more. Frontier is on pace to score in the 80s tonight if they keep doing what they've been doing here. This will be the 40th point if he makes it, and he does. 40-17. Frontier by 23. The real beats his man. Shot up no good. Out of bounds. Still Mohawks basketball. Fresh 30. They throw it in. Back onto De Real in the corner. Up fake. And jumper on the baseline, count it and one! As Gabbery stepped away, kind of flung it up there from the elbow, and drained it. And he has a chance to make a three-point play here and cut this lead to 20. It's three fouls on Hernandez, and he is gonna come off with the three. Spirance is back in. And Gabbery converts the three-point play. 40-20, 1.30 to go in the half. Spirance, bounce pass to DJ, top of the key. Inside, and the put up and in by DJ. Forty-two twenty. Pull up jumper by Debril is no good. Rebound brought down by Mohawk. Shot up from the corner is no good. And the clearing pass ends up in the hands of the Warriors. Jumper misses, put back, blocked. And they come away with it. That was Brinda. Up ahead to Spirance. In the right corner. Richter, cross court to Kuczynski. Kuczynski for three. Side of the iron, no good. Rebound controlled by Mohawk, goes off of Kuczynski. 35.8 seconds left. Frontier with a 42 to 20 lead over Mohawk. And down to Gabbery. Lococo up ahead. Bounce pass in the baseline, shot up, does not go. Tipped out to Spirits. Shot clock is off. 22 seconds left. Spirits bounce pass to Gachinski. Back out to Richter. To Spirits. They're going to play for one shot here. Cross court to Richter. Richter with it. Driving through the lane. Loses control. And it's still Frontier basketball as Sumner tried to make the save. 3.7 seconds left. They'll inbound underneath the Mohawk basket. Spirance throws it in to Richter. Kaczynski will shoot at the buzzer, does not go. And that is the end of one half of play here from Goodno Gymnasium. We played one half. And our score, Frontier 42, Mohawk 20. Second half action upcoming. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks. Customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. 
Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Back out here at Goodno Gymnasium, Chris Collins, Alec Gecko, Megan Self, and Kevin Murphy. Getting ready for second half action here as the Frontier Redhawks lead the Mohawk Warriors by a count of 42 to 20. Leading all scorers in this game is Brett Robinson for the Frontier Redhawks. He has had the hot hand from three point land, three, uh, four three pointers, and a foul shot for 13 points. Seven points for Owen Walkowitz, seven for Peter Carey, five for Donovan Hoffman, three each for Ian Spirance and Aiden Hernandez. And DJ and Sean Richter each had two points each. For the Mohawk Warriors, Anthony Moffitt was the most consistent scorer. Three threes for nine points. Five points for Matt Gabbery off the bench. Four for Austin Sumner. And two points for Tyler Debril. And Frontier has not trailed in this game. They got off to an early 2-0 lead and have not looked back. They lead by 22 going into the Second quarter, uh, the second half rather, the third quarter. This is the first league game for each team. Be these teams both play in the Hampshire League North. And Frontier, I think, is uh, one of the teams that's favored to once again finish either first or second in that league. And I think that uh, there's an expectation that they'll be in the postseason, but we'll see how things go. The original starting five out there for the Frontier Red Hawks. Spirits, Robinson, Hoffman, Walkowitz, and Carey. Mohawk windbound in front of us, moving left to right. And playback underway. Debril now with it. Tyler, right side. Pull up jumper in the lane is all net as Cam Lococo gets his first points of the game. Now a little bit of pressure being applied by Mohawk in the front court. Carey now from the elbow is good. Inside the line, that's good for two. Lococo now with it. Three quarter court pressure by Frontier. Up ahead to Sumner. They go cross court and ball knocked loose. And Debril with it. Debril, left side to Moffitt. Moffitt in the middle to Bassett. Bassett back out to Moffitt. Moffitt in the elbow. Pull up jumper, air ball. Never hit the rim, so we've got a 30 second shot clock violation. And we're going the other way. Hoffman inbound. Two Spirits. Spirits back to Hoffman, up ahead to Peter Carey on the circles. Up to Robinson. Robinson, bullet pass to Walkowitz on the baseline. That's how you break a trap. Lays it up and in. 46 22. And now we have what looks like it might be some blood on Moffitt. No. I don't know what they're talking about. They're checking his nose. And Moffitt is going to be able to inbound. He inbounds to Debril. Back to Moffitt. Moffitt blocked by Spirits. Out of bounds. Still Mohawk basketball. Moffitt throws it into Bassett. Ahead to Lococo. Lococo. Back to Moffitt. Back to Debril. Debril tries to drive. Can't. Moffitt now with it. Three point land. Back to Debril. 11 to shoot. Lococo on the right side. Bounce pass inside. 
to Sumner, who lays it up and in. Good ball movement there by the Warriors. 46-24. Lead still 22 for Frontier. Up ahead to Carey. Carey in the corner. It goes to Robinson. Back to Carey in the paint. Pull up jumper. Does no. It did go. Got the spin. 48-24. Our reach in foul is going to be called as Debril tried to dribble through Robinson. And Spirits are going to get Spirits for the call. His first, team's first of the half. Moffat inbounds to Debril. Up ahead to Bassett. Bassett finds Sumner on the baseline, and he tried to throw up a crazy shot. Pulled down by Frontier. Now a little bump and run foul as Lococo ran into Robinson. And that'll be the first on Cam. First on the team for the half. Robinson throws it into Spirits. To Walkowitz. Over to Hoffman. Hoffman looking for the alley oop oh! And Carey went up for it, got the rim, but didn't get the ball. So out of bounds. Mohawk to inbound it. 5.41 to go in the third. Debril and Moffitt now in the backcourt. Up to Moffitt. And the pass out of bounds. Got tipped out. Still no hawk ball, 22 to shoot on the shot clock. Now the referees are going to confer here. They're going to say it was Mo uh, Frontier's ball, so apparently it did not go off of Frontier Red Hawk. It just got thrown away, so Frontier will inbound. Spirits lobs it up to Hoffman. Hoffman now with it. Finds Spirits, top of the key. Left side of Robinson to Walkowitz, cross court to Hoffman. Dehoff for three, spins out. Carry the rebound, gets knocked down. Walkowitz ends up with it, pull up jumper on the baseline is good by Walkowitz. And we have an injured Frontier player, Moffitt is down. And he collided heavily in that uh, little scrum that dropped Carry to the floor. I remind you that coming up uh, in the next broadcast of Frontier Regional Basketball, is going to be a girls game on Monday night. It's our first simulcast of the year as the Frontier Lady Red Hawks will entertain the Greenfield Green Wave. And that game will be here in Goodnow Gymnasium. Then coming up on January the 4th, which is a Saturday night from Collins Moylan Arena, our first radio TV simulcast. The Greenfield High School Green Wave, which is composed, half the roster is composed of kids from Frontier Regional School, will be taking on an opponent whose name escapes me at this point. But that game will be at Collins Mullen Arena in Greenfield on the 4th at 6.30. Okay, you can watch all these games anytime you want at... Uh, the FCAT Media page at YouTube.com. They've got to mop this up. They can't just wipe the blood off the floor. They've got to make sure it's mopped and sprayed. And this is a this is all about safety. Also about just fluid like that. You got to be very very careful. And. It's the first time we've had that amount of blood spilled, I think, on a broadcast. But. So the problem has been corrected, and we are about to play basketball again. And again, we'll hope to see Anthony Moffat again tonight as he's in the locker room being attended to. Throwing it in is Gabri to Debril. Back to Gabri. Back to Debril. And they cross the timeline. In the corner it goes. Back to Gabri. Right side to Lococo. Lococo goes into Bassett. Bassett pull up jumper over Peter Carey. No good. Hoffman the rebound. Hoffman looking for the lob. That time it didn't go again. That's three times that they've tried that it hasn't worked. And now Bassett gets hit in the head. And he might have a bloody nose. 
He's holding his eye. Hopefully he's all right. They'll inbound it here in front of us. Bassett will come up the floor. He'll stay in the game. Or maybe he won't. No, he's got to come off because they stopped the play. So Bassett will come out. Matt Pullen is back in for Mohawk. 50 to 24, Frontier by 26. 4.43 to go in the third quarter. Debriel goes right side. Back to Debriel. Cross court. Gabbery now tries to feed the paint. No look pass out to Lococo. Lococo blocked on the way up by Walkowitz. Rebound pulled down by Robinson. Robinson to Hoffman. Dehoff goes cross court to Spirance. Spirance try to feed Robinson top of the key. Ball tipped. Spirance. Baseline. Walkowitz now kicks it back out to Hoffman. Hoffman from the right elbow for three. Good. Donovan Hoffman. Second three ball of the game for him. He has eight points. And Frontier still comfortably in front. Debriel crosses half court. Debriel goes on the elbow. Three-pointer by Sumner is no good. Carry the rebound. Outlet to Hoffman. Pass to Robinson was behind him. Gets it back. Spirits. High post to Carey. Carey. Finger roll. Spins in. Nice play by Peter Carey. He's got 13 points. 55-24. 3.29 to go in the third. Lococo tries to feed the paint. And a reach-in foul is going to be called on Carey. as Poland was the intended target for the pass. And it's two on Carey. Non-shooting. Locked inbound. And knocked out of bounds by Hernandez. Warriors to throw it in again. And they do. Lococo. Three ball. Air ball. And pulled down by Frontier. This is Richter off to the races. Richter with it. To carry. To Hoffman. No look behind the back pass. Hernandez is going to be a backcourt violation. Good idea, but I don't think Hernandez saw it coming. And the Warriors win bound. Gabari throws it into Debril. Debrio with it, top of the key. Left side to Sumner. Back to Gabari. To Sumner. Top of the key to Debrio. And Hoffman steals it. Donovan loses control as he was thinking about the layup before he had control of the basketball. Wachinski will come in and Hoffman will come out. So Gabe Gachinski is out there along with Robinson, Hernandez, Carey. Then Gachinski. The Warriors now with it. Makoko, left side to Sumner in the middle to Gabarie. Four seconds to shoot. And they stepped on the baseline. So we're going the other way. Back into the game is Gary Brinda. And DJ's back in also for the Hawks. It's said to Richter. Richter, top of the key. You go cross court to Richter again. Richter trying to feed the paint, can't. Brenda battling for it. Brenda cross court to Gachinski. Bounce pass in the baseline. Cross court to Hernandez. Seven to shoot. In the middle, Richter for three. Front of the iron, no good. Fresh 30 though. DJ with the rebound, the putback doesn't go. 
And the Warriors come down with it. Up ahead to Sumner, back to Debril, and he's able to throw up the running one-hander is good. 55-26, 125 to go in the third. Hernandez, left side to Richter. That's passing the baseline. DJ tried to go up, but he got blocked on the way up, fouled, and he will go to the line to shoot a couple. DJ Dresevich will shoot. And the first one goes. That's the third foul on Austin Sumner. Neither team has committed many fouls this third quarter. That's only the team's second for Mohawk, and only two have been committed by Frontier. The lead is now 30, 56 26. Second shot is good. So he makes them both. 117 to go in the third. Warriors trying to get something moving here. Lococo back to Durbiel. Gabary and it's going to be a whistle and a turnover. 58.3 seconds left to go in the third. And Hernandez with it. Top of the key. Right side to Richter. Richter for three. Good! Sean Richter taking the three. So everybody getting into the action tonight. 34-point lead for Frontier. 36 seconds left in the third. Rainbow jumper in the lane doesn't go. Tip out. And Brenda hands it off to Hernandez. Hernandez to Richter. Bounce pass to Drazevic. Pachinski for three. Good! Okay, good ball movement by the Hawks tonight. They have moved the ball well. In the corner, Lococo for three. Back iron, no good. Richter the rebound. Five seconds left. Richter up ahead. And layup does not go by Brenda. And that is how we will end the third quarter. We played three from Goodno Gymnasium at the end of three quarters. It's the Frontier Red Hawks 63 and the Mohawk Warriors 26. Fourth quarter action upcoming. It's the Red Hawk basketball the Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Fourth quarter upcoming. This one has really never been in doubt, although Mohawk has played hard. They have not been able to create points, and you've got to be able to do that to beat this Frontier team, which is, again, on pace to score in the 80s tonight if things continue the way they are. Kuczynski feeds the paint to Richter. Richter pull-up jumper in the lane, doesn't go. Hernandez trying for the rebound, loses control, out of bounds. Mohawk basketball. Again, Anthony Moffitt left the game with a blood, it looked like a bad bloody nose. Have not seen him since. He's the leading scorer for the Mohawk Warriors, who have only scored six points in the second half. Top of the key. This is Clomorento in the game for the first time. Running one-hander through the lane is no good. 
And rebound controlled by Frontier. Up ahead to Gachinski. Double G. Bounce pass in the baseline. Richter now for three. Air ball out of bounds. Got the right line, just didn't have enough juice on it. And we're going back the other way. Jabril on the right side it goes. Try to feed the paint. Ball knocked loose. Stolen back by Brenda. Up ahead to Richter. Richter feeding Hernandez on a fast break. No good. DJ pull back. No good. And Hernandez stays with it. To Gachinski. Double G. Nope. I can see the line. Not going to go. But put back doesn't go. Brenda. And off the glass and in to Richter. So Frontier doing a good job on the boards. Playing like they're behind when they're way up. 65-26. 6.35 to go in this one. Debril now with it. Right side to Colomento. Right to Gabriel. Brassett goes up strong. Blocked, though, on the way up by DJ. And controlled by Frontier. Hernandez with it. In the middle to Brinda. To Gachinski. Gachinski. A little alley oop on the baseline up and in as Brinda was breaking. 67 26. Colomanejo with it now. Left side to Gabri. And the pass is stolen back. Richter. Up ahead to Gachinski. Gachinski trying to feed Brinda. Couldn't get it to him. Gachinski now with it. Hernandez for three, banks it. So Aiden Hernandez has a couple of threes in this game. 70 to 26. 34 point lead. Excuse me, 44 point lead. Ball stolen back again by Frontier. Gary Brenda up ahead. Hernandez for three. Good! So Frontier is just pouring it on right now. 73-26. This unfortunately is how this rivalry has gone the last few years. Heavily in favor of the Frontier Red Hawks. Jumper from the corner spins out. Put back. No good. Tip back out. Sumner with it. In the corner for three, badly missed. Gachinski the rebound. Here come the Hawks again. Pulls it back, Hernandez now with it. This is essentially Frontier's second team that's out there right now. Getting a lot of quality minutes. The starters are on the bench. Jumper from the corner does not go. DJ with it, kicks it back out for three. Hernandez spins back out, no good. Bassett the rebound. Debriel now with it. Tyler. Goes left side to Sumner. Sumner pull up, pop in the lane, no good. Brenda the rebound. Outlet pass to Hernandez. Aiden now calling the play. Left side to Gachinski. Gachinski runs it through. Threw a hook shot up, took a travel though. Extra step by Gabe. Time out on the floor, we'll take the break. 3.31 to go in this one. Frontier Redhawks comfortably in front of Mohawk, 73-26. This is Redhawk basketball in Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Alec Eckel, Megan Self, and Kevin Murphy out here at Goodnote Gymnasium. Frontier Redhawks, 3.31 away from getting their first league win in the Hampshire League North against the Mohawk Warriors. We knew it was going to be a battle for Mohawk, but I don't think we expected it to be this, this tough 
of the game. They have not scored at all in this quarter. They've only scored six points in this half. Gabriel goes right side. Gets it back. Sumner has it now on the right elbow. Loses control in the paint. Hits the floor. Possession arrow favors Mohawk. Thirteen seconds on the shot clock. Three fourteen on the game clock, and they lob it in. Kalamanejo with it. Debriel fires it up. Put back is blocked hard by Brinda. As he's done a good job in the middle. A couple of blocks for him. That time on Bassett. Throw it out. Debriel for three. Back iron in front of the iron, no good. Rick to the rebound. Up ahead to Hernandez. Aiden now. High post to DJ. Left side to Brinda. And gets back to Hernandez. Hernandez drives through. We got a foul away from the play as Gachinski got knocked down. Refs are going to confer here. Yep, it's going to be a foul. It's going to be on Debril, his second, team's, only the team's third of this half. DJ, jumper from the corner. Good! 75 26, and the beat goes on for the Red Hawks. Statement game tonight, putting the rest of the Hampshire North on notice. Debril now trying to drive through. This is the Bassett on the baseline. It's blocked on the way up. They're going to call foul on Brenda. Pretty sure, or did they not call a foul on Brenda? They haven't posted anything yet. Yeah, there it is. That, actually, the foul is going to be on Gabe Gachinski. It's first, team's third. Inbound to Sumner. Now it goes in the right elbow. Sumner has it again in the middle. Debril now with it. The side. That's Gabri trying to work. Nine to shoot. Gabri loses control. Still Mohawk basketball, but only seven seconds on the shot clock. Less than two to play here. Forty-nine point lead for Frontier. Jumper is good as the buzzer hit. And that was Debrio with the jumper. Seventy-five twenty-eight. DJ on the baseline. Brenda off the glass and in. Good power move. Posted his guy up nicely. Seventy-seven twenty-eight. Bassett in high post. Over to Sumner, left side. Sumner to Bassett. Bassett driving through, lays it up, and gets it. So Ruben Bassett filing the book after a relatively frustrating night for him. He's been well defended, no matter who's in the game. Minute to go, 77-30, Frontier by 47. Brenda, right side to Gachinski. Feeds the lane. And Bassett knocks it out of bounds. Gachinski to throw it in. Gets it in to Hernandez. Hernandez moving away from the ball. Brenda now. DJ with the jumper. Spins out no good. And a foul. That's going to be on Gary Brenda, I believe. And... 39.6 seconds. That's the first foul on Brenda. Debriel now with it. Debriel runs it. Kicks it out. Bassett in the high post. 
deep in three-point land. Right side for three, air ball out of bounds. Still Mohawk basketball. 10 seconds on the shot clock, 19.5 on the game clock. And they throw it in. Vanejo throws up an air ball out of bounds. Kept in though. Put back, does not go. DJ outlets to Brinda and Frontier can dribble it out, which is what they will do. And the, the Frontier Redhawks make a strong statement tonight as they defeat league rival the Mohawk Warriors by a count of 77 to 30. As Frontier just controlled the game from the beginning. It was no question in anybody's mind who was going to win this game. They led all the way through. And they come away with their first league win. And they go to 3-1 and one on the season. And the leading scorers for Frontier in this game were Brett Robinson and Peter Carey. Both of whom finished with 13 points each to lead all scorers. Aiden Hernandez finished with 10 points. Anthony Moffitt led the Mohawk Warriors with three threes and nine points for the game. So the Red Hawks win big at home on this Friday night. And our next broadcast, of course, will be Monday the 30th against Greenfield Green Wave as the Frontier Girls uh, will host the Wave in our first radio simulcast game of the season. That'll do it for our broadcast tonight for Megan Self, Alec Echo, and Kevin Murphy, the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports. I'm Chris Collins. The final score for the final time, the, the Frontier Red Hawks beat the Mohawk Warriors 77-30. So long. Thanks for watching Frontier Community Access Television.